Welcome back to 3 and Out. Today we have a very exciting video, the long-awaited deep dive on Road to Glory. Um, one of the most anticipated deep dives, I think, uh, outside of Dynasty. We had Ultimate Team earlier this week. I don't really know how many people care about that. Um, this is the meat and the potatoes. This is what we're here yep. for. Um, so yeah, I'm accompanied by Drew today. Um, we're going to tag team this one. Super excited. How are we doing, Drew? Doing great, man. Doing great. I mean, like you said, this is this is definitely the top two, and to a lot of people, it's not two. Um, yeah. <laughs> so no, I'm I'm really excited for this. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, online dynasty is really exciting because uh, you want to play with the fellas. Yeah. Um, but this this is where this is where EA uh, separates the men from the boys on the road mm -hmm. to glory um, yeah. and sets this game at the next level. I think if this performs well, the game performs well. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. So. I think they have to hit this out of the park. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think this is their like almost trademark, you know. Mm -hmm. There's not really many other or other games that have it. I know Madden kinda has something similar, but it, it doesn't Yeah, but you know it doesn't really uh, compare. You Madden know? drops you into the national championship game. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a very short road, uh, mm -hmm. as you'd say. Anyways, without further ado, we're just going to dive right into this. Um, as you can see on the side here, this is a, a thick article. Mm -hmm. So I'll include a link um, in the bio for you to read the whole thing. We're not going to read it word by word. We're just going to hit the, the high points here, kind of skim through it and see you know, what they've retained, what's new, stuff like that. Um, so I'm just going to skip. A lot of the times they'll have the, the, um, the images like that. This is what I want to see. Yeah. So... Let's see, creation, you have four different categories, elite, blue, tri blue chip, contributor, and underdog. Okay. Uh, it looks like to start off with. Yeah, um, kind of like your background. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder okay. what the perks are for the the other ones. I mean, I'm looking at yeah. them, obviously, as the higher overall um, right. you start with, but maybe the others have some kind of built-in perks or if you just want to make it harder for yourself i guess yeah that that might be what it is or you know if you're the underdog that might play into like your you know your story um, yeah i guess that could contribute that way if you perform well as a lower level recruit um, mm -hmm. i don't know that, that'll be very interesting because uh, you know off the rip it's like well obviously i want to be elite yeah uh, yeah for sure, but, that was my same thought. It's like, yeah. I feel like there's got to be something to incentivize maybe choosing these um, these ones down here. I know, mm -hmm. let's see, I read a three-star prospect who may have the chance to get on the field a little earlier in their career, but will have to work hard for playing time. Mm -hmm. Not getting an additional mental ability. So, okay, so it is, it, it, it does look like it's like a difficulty setting. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, okay, that, that does make a lot more sense. Like, if you're really good at the game, then obviously elite would be you know a little too easy for you probably. for sure that's interesting i yeah. don't know if they did they have i know they had some difficulties in the prior road to glories but yeah i, I don't think it was laid out like this but yeah you choose Anyways. position all that jazz so okay yeah. you um let's see we have archetypes for like quarterbacks uh, field general scrambler improviser i'm sure that's different archetypes for any position. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all are ready to see uh, the three and out sponsored uh, center that's going to be coming out of, uh, you know, insert school here. Don't want to disclose that just yet. I think I want to have a, I was brainstorming the other day and I was like, maybe we should have like a commitment episode where we, mm. where we choose our teams. I think. Yeah. The, a lot of people have been doing that. I, uh, yeah. I mess with that. We should, uh, yeah. we should do that once the game comes out for sure. No, but, I agree. Um, yeah, I'm going to run the middle <laughs> linebacker road to glory. Real quick. There we go. There we go. You know, just that's funny. That's fill funny. all the journeys. So. Yeah, I don't think I ever did a road to glory that wasn't back in the day a quarterback or a running back. To be honest. Yeah. With you. No, I agree. Um, I mean, you know, it's your main ones. Yeah. Okay. And then we have create a player. You got the hoodie okay. on underneath. The arm sleeve. Uh, not in my out. program. Not in my program. <laughs> not in my program. I remember. <laughs> Playing football around here, no distractions, baby. <laughs> Let's see. Um, looks like we have categories here. Oh, what was this? So you also have fan favorite, road dog, okay. clear headed. So if your GPA is above 3.0, I'm curious okay. to know how they 
what goes into yeah. what am I going to Am I going to class? Like, am I about to start taking <laughs> quizzes and everything? Honestly. That's... I already did that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> We're really going back in time. This is very immersive. Oh, um, man. That's funny. Welcome to English 1102. Today we'll be reading uh, The Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine? Could you? Sorry, baby. You know, I, I can't do date night this week. I got a paper due on Plus. Thursday. <laughs> I'm trying to get you, man. I am in my road to glory. We're in the thick of it. I need I need these offers, baby. Yeah, it, it's I almost final right. season. Like, ah! <laughs> Gonna lock in. Um, that's kind of crazy, but it looks like these are just mental abilities um, that you can equip that give you different perks. Like, mm-hmm. increase composure gains at home, um, on the road, and then protection from composure loss. So obviously okay. composure plays into um, how you perform on the field. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, so we actually have <laughs> the the DMs here. Ah. Or maybe yes. that's just messages. I don't know. That's funny. Um, local TV reporter. Yeah, it seems like um, yeah. it seems kind of reminiscent of a little bit back in the day with 2K. Um, mm-hmm. there. What, what was that called? I, don't, I forget what it's called in 2K oh, where you create you. a player and you I have never done the 2K version. I have done the NHL version. Mm. Um, I'm sure those you, are very similar. Yeah. Like, it's the same company, but it's yeah. like you have cutscenes and different mm-hmm. like, dialogue yeah. options. So it looks you, like you, that, but hopefully it's going to be... Yeah. You talk to a reporter on the phone. You talk yeah. to uh, your teammate. You talk to your coach. So I'm sure it will be esque. Yeah, I'm sure they're pulling from that, but I am I would like to think that they, that they would flesh this out a bit further. Mm-hmm. And it yep. looks like they have. So you have um, here's your signing day graphic. So I guess you can see all the teams that you have offers from, and then you have the yeah. bar um, on how much, how, or that's interest level. Excuse me. Yeah. So, I wonder is that interest in you as a player or your interest? I imagine it would I be. I, I think they're interested in you most likely. I would think so. Yeah. But because a full green, you know, you're a starter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm interested to see how much of this. Because um, I thought I heard somewhere that it, you don't really get to play in high school. And Road to Glory in this game, um, mm. is, and the other ones that was a super big thing was grinding those high school games to get um, to get noticed, recruited. Um, yeah, I might be wrong, but I don't know. I don't know. That. They haven't yeah, mentioned we'll slide, it so far. Slide two is, is where he got committed. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Like Just a like a real world, world student athlete. athlete. You oh have to God. <laughs> your time on and off the field. Yeah, we're really. You know, we're gonna. It's like I'm re-enrolling in college. Yeah. For this yeah. game, I think. You got yeah, your dorm room in the back. That's Jeez. that's actually kind of sick. That is sick. What, what do we need to do? What was that called? The, the the FAFSA? We need to fill that out again, or are we good? Get student loans. Get everything yeah. out. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Um, Talking about practice. That's funny. <laughs> oh, and you have the the drills. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of like, um, our, like Madden-esque a little bit. Yeah. I think yeah. they had this in the the order in CAA's where you did which drills is, like yeah, that, which is fine. Which yeah, I wonder like if you're if you're not a starter or if you are like a third string, kid, like you, you know, if you're like a two star or three star and you go to like Ohio State, I wonder if this is like your only experience. The yeah. First, when you're getting redshirted, you know. Yeah, there has to be a way to fast track it because if you start off on the lower levels, mm-hmm. I mean. There's got to be a way to influence it um, if the difficulty is harder. Because, I mean, if you're a 60 overall, like, one-star recruit, and you go to, say, like, you know, a, a bigger program, you're probably not seeing the field until your junior or senior year. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know how much of a of a fun Road to Glory um, gameplay experience yeah. that would be. I'm going to so, recreate Rudy. Yeah, honestly. But, um, okay, this is mainly just practice. I don't think this is anything super groundbreaking. Putting the student and student athlete. Yeah, look at all this. This is crazy. So, um, <laughs> you have to spend your time among five key activities, academics, leadership, health, training, and brand. Brand. So I'm really interested in brand mm-hmm. and the NIL and the transfer mm-hmm. portal and how they're yeah. going to incorporate that because that is so new in college football itself. Yeah. Um, so. Like, am I going to have an agent that I talk to and work on that yeah. with? Uh, yeah. So the next, the next paragraph is what I'm really concerned with. Mm-hmm. Academics. Academics. Mastering the art of time management. And more. <laughs> Ensure your Good success Lord. both on and off the field. Man, this this game is going to help me with my time management in real life. 
I know, dude. I'm I'm gonna put I'm gonna start putting uh, Road to Glory and College Football 25 dude. in my resume. It's like, hey, yeah, I worked my time management skill. Your GPA is a reflection of your academic performance and is influenced by the results of your exams and quizzes. Oh, so God. are we like? <laughs> My question is, are you actually taking them, or yeah. you just have to dedicate time to, like, say, okay, put this much time towards studying, and it takes it for you? Because mm-hmm. I think that's probably what it is, but just the, the thought of taking a quiz or a test inside of this game kind of makes me laugh a little bit. I hope so. I hope so. So it looks like you have the opportunity to allocate some of your energy and time towards studying, which will yeah. boost your test readiness. So, like, you'll probably have to, like, sacrifice... Yeah, you know, an nil deal or you get to pick you know, and choose something. You know, yeah. It, I think it just depends on what is your priority. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it seems like you just have to. I don't know if this like actually hours or some kind of like digital currency that you allocate to different things, and you only have so much of it. Uh, that would make a little more yeah. sense. But it yeah, seems definitely. like the full the full experience. I mean, this is kind of way beyond what Road to Glory was in the past. I mean, all you... We're not... What was that quote? Um, you don't play school. You play football. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't, yeah, That's kind of what that was. You don't play school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So, um, that'll be super interesting. And then mm-hmm. you become ineligible if your GPA is oh, okay. 2.0. We so gotta be really can't... slacking, man. Yeah, so you Come can't on. say, no, nah, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to go chase my bag, and I'm going to go to the weight room eight hours a day. You have to study at least a little bit. Yeah. Huh. Let's see. Maintaining high GPA. Um, weekly coach trust bonus and fan favorite mental ability. Okay, that's interesting. I, I'm sure, I guess they had to give some incentive to mm-hmm. uh, actually allocating that. But yeah, let's see. You have leadership. We have these different categories here with leadership, and it gets you team experience, coach trust, um, abilities, stuff like that, um, yeah. which makes sense. But And then this is something that I talked about before in one of the other videos, but you also have like a super in-depth look at your um, – it's like a medical okay. chart, a heat map yeah. of your body um, where you've taken hits, which is kind of interesting. I'll be honest, like, this is a little more in-depth – than when I actually played football. You know? Honestly. Like, I think we're going to have to be a little more mindful even here. I'm yeah. Not even in school. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Training. Um, you can get XP through training. Mm-hmm. Part of your weekly agenda. Um, opportunity to spend time on training. Okay, so it helps you fill your progression bar faster and earn skill points. Sure. Um, that makes sense. I'm and interested I'm, I'm, in brand. Yeah. And I'm sure for the training, you'll have to like – or, you know, monitoring your wear and tear to see how, how yeah. bad that's tracking down. So, it'd be probably yeah, I'm sure the wear and tear definitely plays into the training. You have to mm-hmm. dial it back a little bit and then stuff yeah. like that. So that's, that's interesting. But yeah, um, brand is is super interesting to me. Um, another one of those new features that obviously was not in any other iterations of NCAA because it would have been illegal at that yep. time. Um, now it is not. So it looks like you can open up NIL slots depending on how many fans you have. You have different levels to your brand. Um, so local hero, influencer, superstar, and then global phenom. Global um, phenom. I, I don't – I think I can name like maybe five people in the past 20 years that I would label as a global phenom. It's quite a lofty – um. Yeah. A lofty term lofty for that. Goal. Talking yeah. Global. global? I don't global. even know if – I don't even know if Johnny Manziel was a global phenom. He took the country by storm, but yeah, global? United States phenom. But you got to be doing something pretty crazy to be global. But yeah. Anyways, um, let's see. You have in and out slots, like I said, depending on your your level of brand and how many fans you have. So I guess global phenom is a million fans, which um, is interesting. Let's see, reach influencer to your road dog ability. So you get abilities and, and stuff like that, which makes sense. Um, let's see, more frequently you socialize, the higher engagement there will be. Okay. So you have scenarios and dilemmas. <laughs> yeah, this definitely there's sounds no like there's going to be a definitely sounds like there's going to be an ebb and flow between the classroom and your uh, nil 
kick the that's what that's what the biggest thing seems like so far in this game is is balancing that for sure. Yeah. Um, let's see. We're gonna drive together to our morning government classes. We gotta love eight thirty a.m. Okay, so you can you can sleep in, skip class. I mean, yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> Getting extra rest always helps. Okay, so <laughs> that's what it. Okay, I, I get it now. So that's what it means where there's like no wrong answer, because mm-hmm. uh, you 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 know you get on um, wear and tear improvement from sleeping in, but your GPA goes down. I guess. Yeah. Um, so if, I guess if you're hurt that bad, it would be mm-hmm. beneficial. And there's ups and downs. So your wear and tear have, has been improved by three, but if you go to the next one, you get a a message from your academic advisor. <laughs> you missed class, and not only did you miss class, but you also missed a pop quiz. Mm. So then your GPA Don't takes take a, a big hit. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, obviously, like we were saying, there's ebbs and flows. I feel like a lot of this, a lot of this is a balancing act mm-hmm. between academics and NIL and actual football. So yeah. it seems like they really went all out on, yeah. on developing uh, <laughs> things. I wonder how realistic this is going to be, because let's be honest. If you're the star running back or quarterback or whoever, getting a 2.0 is not going to be that hard. No. No, and professors know you and, I don't know, man. If you're like a what – are, what are majors of athletes? Um, sports management. Exor- exercise, like, science, exercise science. Sports management. I mean, like a lot of I – think, I think they also have curriculum, like, built in to take credit for, like, what they learn – in like the weight room and yeah. the training facility, and they um they make it a little easier on those guys, especially which, if you're like yeah. a if you're like an NFL prospect. Yeah, I, I think they're aware of that, and they they know that you don't necessarily yeah. need your degree unless <laughs> you really want it, and you actually yeah. are one of the the, yeah. the rare you know good student athletes in college football. Yeah, so. because I, I truly am curious. I mean. I, if I if if I had Anthony Edwards' number in my phone, I know he's not a football player, but like, yeah, you know, he's Bro was there for one, one year. There. Yeah, if that. I mean, how not many classes actually, did he yeah. actually go to? <laughs> exactly, you know? enough to to stay enrolled and be able to play basketball. I guess. But it'll be interesting to see, and I wonder if the level of difficulty also plays into that. I'm sure it does. Where you know you what can't if you get to pick your major. That'd be funny. Let's see how we'll see how in depth they did it, and we'll do like a deep dive when we get into the game and be like, "What all can you actually do with this?" Because yeah, I am actually do interested. But yeah, um, next up is nil, which is mm-hmm. another thing that's new to this game um, mm-hmm. for obvious reasons. But it looks like so as part of the scenarios you encounter, you may be presented with nil deals. Um, you have to have slots. The higher the brand level, the more slots you have available. We already covered that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Mm. Gameplay so they, bonuses, nice. Off field bonuses, calls. nice. Okay. Yeah. So you're not actually ha- you don't have like your bank account in here, and it's like <laughs> that they wire funny. you the money, so you get paid in like uh, enhancements, the meters, um, followers, coach trust. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very nice. So they slide into your DMs. Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah. It'll cost you energy. I, mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay. Maybe stress. I don't know about energy, but I guess it depends on what you um what you're doing because I know some NIL is like the collective where they just like give you a piece of the pot, but you know other ones are actually like brand deals and advertisements. So mm-hmm. I guess it really just depends on that. But yeah, um, we'll we'll look at NIL further when it comes to the game. Sure. It'll be interesting to see, but. You have coach trust and position battles, so this is nothing new. Um, let's see. So you won the battle. You got coach trust. And then, let's see. So you, okay. So I guess as you progress, you can unlock position battles when you get good enough to actually challenge mm-hmm. the, the person to that. Um, yeah. Let's see. Interesting. What are the, I was about to say, yeah. What are those, what are those red I think it's just mini games that just mini games, games that you played against each other. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Okay. And if you get a better score than them, that's interesting. Yeah. No, I like it. Yeah, I'm sure it's a slow burn though. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got to get there be. depending on what 
difficulty level it is, but yes. Um, yeah, XP progression and stuff like that. Yeah, it's pretty standard. Um, skill groups. Let's see. Skill group caps can represent your character's maximum potential in a specific area. Okay. Thomas Swipe Right. I would love to be the guy that came. Like, whose job is it to come up with these names? This is this is beautiful. I want that job. I would yeah. Like that. Yeah. But let's see. This is just um. It's a rating screen, it looks like, and then you have your your mentals and your physicals, um, mm -hmm. which obviously, this is very, very detailed, I will say. Yeah, wow. yeah that is a lot of attributes. Mm -hmm. That reminds me a little bit of, like, Madden Ultimate Team, where you have all these different, like, abilities and stuff like that, so hopefully it's not too tedious to keep up with all of them, but I guess if you're super into Road to Glory, and you want that level of detail, yeah. then... Yeah, then I involved. mean, if you're, yeah, if you're only main, like, I'm, I mean... My understanding is that Ultimate Team, you have to deal with an entire lineup, whereas with Road to Glory, I don't think it'd be that tedious just because you got the one guy yeah. to worry about. Um, that's that's valid. That's valid. But there you have it. That's kind of a screen cap of everything there, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but let's keep going. We're a little... I think we have like a quarter of this article left. But um, So this is the mental and physical abilities like we saw earlier. So you have a bunch of different variability in that. Um, let's see. Physical abilities can be upgraded with skill points if you meet up your requirements. Yada, yada, yada. Um, yep. Maximum tier of platinum. So basically just working your way up in each of those. But yep. <clears throat> moving on to game day, we have another there it is. screen cap of the actual gameplay footage, which is always nice to see. Mm -hmm. I guess South Carolina is the main um, the main character in this, this deep dive. But yep. let's see. Um... Home field advantage is palpable. Uh, okay, so you have the the standard stuff like seeing incorrect play art, missing so you're missing button icons. Um, if you're on the road, I suppose. Yeah, um, <clears throat> that's a little Madden esque. Like this most it is. recent Madden, uh, which yeah. is fine. I mean, it is know. EA after all. But yeah, I just don't like how much of an emphasis they put on uh, getting rattled. Yeah, um, but it seems but like if you have a good enough leadership level that you don't get rattled as much, from what yeah. I can gather. Yeah, and I, I do get it. Like In college, I feel like being on the road definitely plays a bigger factor than it does in the NFL. Don't get me wrong. The NFL does have some rowdy crowds, but I mean, just based off of capacity, college is going to be worse. So. Well, yeah, and the fact that... um. You know, in, in the NFL, everybody's professional. There's this rowdy statement, mm -hmm. but uh, those guys have played full college careers and have seen that. And, I mean, in college, yeah. you're, you're a younger kid and all that, so I'm yeah. sure it plays more of a factor. Um, this Didn't doesn't have anything that, to do with the um, deep dive. I just think it's funny they have the, the banner up, 2010 SEC Eastern Division Champions. <laughs> was that last time South Carolina won the East? Uh, I guess it did. Yeah, that was, uh, I believe that was a Steven Garcia Year. Mm, that would make sense. And they they ran into the gauntlet that was Cam Newton. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I I do like this, um, and I think also your age and experience is also going to be able to play a factor into how rattled you get, if I remember mm. correctly. Yeah, I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. If you're like an upperclassman and you have experience, I'm sure that plays into. Mm. Um, how much that does affect you. But so you have different camera angles. You have the the close and then the the further out, I suppose. Um, yeah, like the 22 man. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Good deal. So there's that um, in terms of gameplay, and then you have wear and tear. So I guess you can see everybody on the field. They have like a health meter. Oh, um, wow. You'll need to make strategic decisions to preserve your health. Do you, <laughs> do you purposefully miss a block to save your body? What? Um, that, where I'm from, is called a business decision. <laughs> uh, other people so, would call it bitch made. Uh, yeah, you know, just depends on. Mm -hmm. what yeah, you said so you made a business decision. You didn't want to take that block, save yourself. Yeah, um, not in my football team, not in my program. Yeah, not in my program. You're doing that, right? but um, yeah. I guess you have the option to do so. Um, yeah, <laughs> do you give yourself up on a big run and step out of bounds as opposed to fighting for extra yards? We're all we're fight. You know, I don't know. Depends on the situation. 
it does depend on the situation, but if it's just for the wear and tear, I'm gonna have a hard time stepping out of bounds just because yeah. I'm a little hurt. But I will say when I'm pl- when I'm playing Madden, um, I definitely have a fumbling problem, uh, yeah. so I do step out of bounds when I'm given the opportunity. That is one thing in this that I'm interested to see is I know in Madden, especially when you run with a quarterback, mm-hmm. I feel like there's a, like a 50 percent chance to fumble the ball. Yeah. So I, I wonder what that rate is in here and how that's transferred over. Um, yeah in terms of that because that'd be a little annoying but i mean i guess in terms of quarterback if you have different archetypes you can choose scrambler maybe and Mm -hmm. you know you're less likely to fumble the ball and stuff like that okay so it's not your call to take yourself out which duh i mean when i say it out loud that makes way too much sense but yeah if you have too much wear and tear your coach may take you out gotcha okay yeah that makes sense so then you're really incentivized to maybe step out of bounds yeah you bring you off the sidelines, do a concussion check, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's that's interesting. Mm-hmm. There. But, um, and then you have play calling. Um, so initially you have access to limited play calling. Um, so you only have... So basically when, when it starts off, it calls a play for you, which it makes sense. Yep. you got to earn which, probably yeah. more coach trust. Mm-hmm. And then start calling audibles up. and everything, yeah. Yeah, you got it here. That's also one thing is if if you have one play to run, can you go up to the line and actually do hot routes, or is that locked? It might be locked. It looks like it might be locked at first, but the more you get into it. Uh, Here's the answer to my questions. The answer to my question, once you get to the line of scrimmage, you will not have the ability to change play via auto. So at first you're not able to do anything with it, which would make. You can, you can still hot route receivers. According to the next sentence. Can However, oh, uh, pre-snap adjustments to optimize your chances of success by hot routing. Okay. So, okay, I got you. Now, I, I read that wrong. So you can't completely change the play, but if you call enough hot routes, you pretty much can. You can change um, the play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you said slants? Oh, damn. I called four hot routes made this yeah. bitch verts. <laughs> yeah. Slants to four verts, speed run. Um, <laughs> so that'll be interesting to see. I, I can see myself doing that a lot. It's like screw this play call. Let's let's uh. But I wonder if you do that and you um you screw up if that you probably probably yeah. um hurts you your, probably coach lose trust. your coach trust. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but so that's it, cool. If it, but if it works, you know, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um, transfer portal, another new addition to this. So you have yeah. the little screen here where you, I guess, you can look at teams that have an interest level in you. Looks very um, similar if you're to eligible the recruiting one. It does. I think it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. I, was, I was about to say, I wonder what the difference is. It's the same thing. From it doesn't look very different. Yeah. It doesn't. Which is but, fine. I mean, it is a pretty similar process. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, we talked about the transfer portal a little bit in another video. It seems to be a quick process here. Mm-hmm. Um, but we talked about it from the, the viewpoint of Dynasty. So you get to see yeah. that there. It's pretty similar to um, committing out of high school, it looks like. Just yep. whatever teams are interested in you. And I'm sure the eligibility to transfer plays into it. But, um, yeah, I don't think there's too much in terms of that for you. I think that's going to be the big thing in Dynasty, though. Because um, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I don't think you have too much of an influence. But yeah. And then, end of the journey. So, you have the conference championship, Western Kentucky, Middle Tennessee State. And then you get your accolades at the end of the year and your stats. Okay. And then you can retire. What? Or export the player to Madden. Okay, 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 okay. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, I guess if you're not, like, a prospect to go on to the next level, I guess you could retire. I mean, then does it drop you into, like, an insurance salesman role? <laughs> Uh, am I going to be, you know, like a car sales, you know, am I going to Yeah, business car development like, yeah. yeah, what what are we doing? What are we doing? Yeah, it's funny. It reminds me of a post I saw the other day. Was it baseball? It was like the official team account. It's like, job offer secured. <laughs> so. <laughs> like a, like a LinkedIn post? Yeah. yeah, it was like, ah, God, I, I think I sent it to y'all, but I forget who it was. I think it was baseball, and it was like a smaller D1 school, and it was like a graphic yeah. of one of their players, and it's like, job offer from, like, Northwest, Northwestern <laughs> or something like that, financial or whatever. And it's like, okay. No, I, I like it. I love this stuff, so we'd love to see it. Yeah, we celebrate the, you know, 
Celebrate the little wins. Yeah. Um, that looks like <laughs> is it in terms of Road to Glory. Um, I like it. So, a good bit of ground to cover there. I'm super interested to see the, um, I don't know, it does seem like we said before, the main emphasis is on balancing your time between academics and NIL. Mm -hmm. Actually, on the field, it almost looks like there's more work to put in, as much or more work to put in off the field mm -hmm. when it comes to managing your player and how they play on the field. Yeah, um, yeah Drew, do you have any concluding thoughts? Anything that yeah. stuck out to you? No, I'm just glad that we're not actually going to be taking quizzes. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, uh, I don't feel like that would be that fun, but uh, it would be immersive. <clears throat> but it, it's good that, yeah, it's just an allocation of your time. Yeah. Um, I guess, you know, I, I am very curious to see what happens if you choose the underdog story. Like, what is your what is your first year going to look like? Are you literally just grinding in practice, like, mm -hmm. just on the XP grind? And I wonder if those... you could, like, redshirt. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, where, like, you literally don't even worry about um, – on the field antics at all you are literally in the weight room studying uh you know getting your gpa up earning some coach trust which i think once you know if you get bored playing elite blue chip and whatever i think that could be a different way to go about the game yeah um, yeah i think i'll probably run it um on like one of the easier difficulties just to see how everything looks but eventually mm -hmm. i think it would be interesting to uh take over as that because I mean, you probably get redshirted, and I don't know. I, I'm playing. I'm playing as long as I can. I don't know if I don't care if I'm like an NFL prospect. We're we're gonna be seventh year seniors up in there. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're getting a COVID year. Um, yeah, we're going back to high school in COVID year. Yeah, you came out of high school in 2024. Uh, yeah. <laughs> COVID Medical year? red shirt, gray shirt. Uh, the yeah, doctor I really said went I could. Hard time in middle school, man. I, I got. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> really set me back as an athlete and as yeah, a student, honestly. more importantly. My dog yeah. died. I really need I, I need another year. Yeah, that's funny. But, um, yeah, I think that's it in terms of Road to Glory. Um, mm -hmm. So if you're still watching, thank you for sticking around. Um, let us know in the comments what you think of this deep dive, what you're most excited about for for the game, uh, what you're going to do first, what position you're going to play, anything that you want to talk about. Let us know. We want to talk about it. Um, we're super excited for the game. Um, and yeah, if you liked what you saw, please do consider, um, subscribing, liking the video, um, turning on a, the notification bell, all of that good stuff. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more of this. This is just the start for EA College Football 25 mm -hmm. on this channel. Um, it comes out next week, which is crazy to say. It's been a long time coming. Why? Years in the making. We're super excited. So we're going to have a lot of content on that and also content on college football in general. Um, mm -hmm. preview season is coming up. We do a lot of previews for conferences. Um, the 12 team playoff is going to be super interesting to talk about. So if you want to see any of that, please do consider sticking around. We would appreciate it very much, but yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.